Now we'll understand what is i enumerable and what is i queryable in link. So there is a very small subtle difference which can have a huge performance uh, penalty or we can say performance uh, performance issues, performance consequences. Consider these chart that I've drawn. Here I've written i enumerable x is equal to ls dot where some lambda. I've written the same thing here i queryable x is equal to ls dot where i enumerable and i queryable are both interfaces and both of them are available on this ls dot where and ls dot where. Then in the next statement here I write z is equal to x dot take 10 and here I write x dot take 10 exactly same statement and here I write where v is equal to z dot order by v is equal to z dot order by exactly same statements but here I write enumerable and I here I write queryable. Let us see what is the difference. When you write queryable this means still more queries can be appended to it before execution. So I write x is since x is i queryable this means at this point I can still append this take clause to this one. No execution. And even further I am writing z dot order by and z is acting on queryable and here also I am adding one more condition here or one more SQL clause here. So this means execution hasn't still occurred here. Even here the execution hasn't occurred. Execution will occur once I take out i enumerable out of this. How do we take i enumerable? We can take i enumerable by writing to dot to list or using a for each loop. That that gives that is the point of execution. When you are using a for each loop, you are taking out i enumerable. So i queryable will prevent execution. It will allow you to chain chain SQL clauses, but execution won't take place. Execution will take place only when the for each loop has been called for or specifically dot to list has been done or dot to dictionary or whatever. Whereas on the left side you have i enumerable. Enumerable means that in the very next step before operation this operation the original one will be executed. So it means take 10 will occur on x held in memory. Database query has already occurred here and the results are in your memory and this take 10 is executing against the memory and z is also executing against the memory and any for each after that will execute on in memory. The execution occurs here at the very next step of taking out i enumerable. Execution doesn't occur here. Be very careful. They both support deferred execution. Deferred means at a next step. Not on the same line. So execution hasn't occurred at this step. But because it is i enumerable at the very next step execution occurs first and then that step takes place. Whereas in case of queryable it is deferred and this will not occur, this will, this will wait till chaining can occur. You are chaining, this is where clause no execution to where you have chained this one take and then you have chained this order by and finally only when you use a for each loop the entire query will be sent to the database and the results brought from there. 
consider this the one on the left side here generates query like this select star from where then we wrote then we wrote top take top 10 take top 10 is is executed against the results of this database has already sent 10,000 records and from those 10,000 you are taking top 10 and then on these top 10 you are performing an order by three different steps but in case of the right side the query that might have finally gone is select top 1 or top 10 from the whole where clause and then order by also so what went to the database was this which waited for completion of the i queryable chain whereas in this case database what went to database was select star from where and then on memory 10,000 records were fetched and from them just 10 were taken out whereas in this case from database over a network only 10 traveled and that too they were ordered at the database end whereas in this case 10,000 traveled and out of them you took 10 wasted the others and then ordered them so this one is not only slower but also inefficient so if you inst if you mistakenly write i queryable if you mistakenly write instead of i queryable i enumerable and carelessly start to write more lines thinking that it would be efficient it won't be so if you want to make it chainable use i queryable that is the difference so we can draw a diagram here this is how i queryable will occur one chain another chain third chain and the composite result goes to the database and only one call comes back whereas if you are using i enumerable then this one goes to the database a big result comes back and then the second one takes if this is numbered one two and three first one goes to database the result comes back result comes into memory second occurs and on third you this is third so this portion is occurring on your memory whereas in this case nothing is occurring in memory this chain of query chained query is going to the server and the combined result whatever is it it's coming in one go so this is what is the difference between i queryable and i enumerable both support deferred execution but i query i enumerable is the last step beyond which execution will occur whereas i queryable is not the last step but it will wait till i enumerable is reached now in link you will encounter one function called as enumerable for example ls dot as enumerable you might encounter you will encounter this function just like you have ls dot where so what is this i enumerable this uh, what is this as enumerable as enumerable does the simple work of casting it simply casts ls to i enumerable so once it is cast then on after the after the next steps that is going to be executed although it won't be executed at the same line at the same point but when the results when the succeeding succeeding chaining occurs this might be executed see this one if i write ls dot as enumerable so here a casting has occurred 
and then I write where then this one this one is still not executed but if I write on the next point where dot order by then here an execution will occur and ordering will occur afterwards ls dot as enumerable dot where up to this point no execution will occur but the moment you put another dot execution will occur and order by will occur on the memory so as enumerable why would you need as enumerable if it is so dangerous the point is that that certain method based functions they actually require or they have been written in such a way that they expect to operate on i enumerable interface it is to just cast it so that the proper input is available for those method based functions i is enumerable has been provided so it is for compatibility to the functions that expect i enumerable interface and of course those functions they definitely won't be in, won't lead to grave in grave inefficiencies so wherever those functions have been done they must have been created by a lot of overthought by the providers like microsoft so it is required if you want to provide the compatible input to those functions so this is the use of as enumerable